Well, Rock Island Armory has been making some 1911s uh, style guns for a long time now. They're one of the top producers in the world as far as the number of uh, 1911 uh, pistols that they make. Uh, one that's really interested me here lately, and I've shot several of their pistols over the years, is this uh, 22 TCM. And this is, uh, this is their high cap, wide body uh, 1911. This holds uh, 17 shocks in the mag, plus one gives you 18 shocks of this 22 TCM. Now this is a cartridge that they've came out with that uh, it shoots a 40 grain bullet at about 2,050 feet per second, 12 foot from the muzzle where I'm shooting right here. So it's really coming out of there good. I had a couple of them run over 2,100 feet per second, but it's, uh, uh, the, the cartridge is accurate. The gun's accurate. I have no uh, insert from a ransom rest on it, but I was shooting about two and a half inch groups uh, with a uh, magazine full at 25 yards shooting off a rest just using my old eyeballs. Works really well. We shot into some uh, uh, ballistic gel here today too, which is really interesting. I want to test the penetration of this because a lot of people, they put a lot more emphasis on penetration than they really should, I think, but it is important. you got to have enough penetration to get to the vitals, and I compared this to some good atomic bonded core plus P uh, 9 millimeter and uh, the atomic stuff went about 15 inches and this went 14 inches and it's a lot less recoil and the bullet I dug it out of there it expanded to about 9 millimeter diameter didn't lose any weight it's 40 grain hollow point bullet but it's a little jacketed bullet it holds together really tough this is not a regular 22 long rifle bullet coming out of this little case now uh, I've read a lot of things a lot of people say it's a neck down 9 millimeter it's not a neck down 9 millimeter it's the, the cases. The case is longer than a nine millimeter case. Uh, so and and this uh, a nine millimeter will not chamber in the 22 TCM barrel. I think they did it probably for safety reasons because you don't want to light off a nine millimeter and have it squeeze down to 22 caliber going through the bore. Uh, while we're talking about the nine millimeter, this uh, pistol also comes with an accessory nine millimeter barrel to give you some uh, cheaper practice. You can buy the nine millimeter ammo a lot cheaper. This uh. Uh, the 22 TCM on their website now is about $24.95 for a box of 50, so it's about a half dollar a shot. You can shoot the uh, 9 millimeter a lot cheaper. Comes with a 9 millimeter barrel and the accessory 9 millimeter spring because you need the heavier spring for the 9 millimeter. Another advantage that I really like of this is uh, it uses a seven pound uh, recoil spring in here, which is very. Let me get this mag out of it. Check it. Very easy to cycle this spring here. Anybody that can, can do about anything with their hand can work the one in this 22 TCM. Recoil is also light. Muzzle jump is, is uh, not bad at all. So if you can handle any kind of recoil, this thing is really easy to shoot and shoot well. You got 18 shocks that you can spit out of here about as fast as you can pull the trigger and they're easy to keep on target. It's got a good set of sights on it. It's an adjustable rear sight with two docks on it. A plain uh, black front that's adjustable in its dovetail for a windage correction. Anyway, the wide body mag is all steel and like I said it holds 17 in the mag and it still gives you a good grip on it. It's not excessively large because the grips on it are thin and uh, by the way these mags will fit a para ordinance also so if you uh, uh, need any extra mags for your para that'll work in it too. And uh, it's got some nice features on it. The safety is uh, for a right hander only, don't have one on my side, but that's easy to correct and put something like that on it. But it's got a good trigger on it, nice, uh, nice trigger pull. Measure just under four pounds on this pistol. Uh, the gun's been 100% reliable, uh, whether it's shooting nine millimeter or shooting the 22 TCM. No feeding problems, no extraction problems. Shoots really well. Comes in this nice hard case, like I said, with the accessory barrel for nine millimeter and your recoil spring. Uh, you can get the you can order the ammo from, uh, direct from Arms Corps, or you can buy it wherever you can buy this pistol at your Rock Island dealer. You can go to Arms Corps' uh, website, armscorps.com, and you can uh, check and find your Rock Island dealer around you where you can pick up this pistol. The uh, MSRP on this, because I know the question is going to come up, is also pretty good. The MSRP is $625 US at the time of making this video. That's with the hard case, the extra barrel, a uh, one uh, 17 round mag. Anyway, it's a good shooting pistol. It's uh, really well made. It's steel. Made out of the stuff that the uh, pistol is supposed to be made out of. Like I said, it's 100% reliable. Carries well. It'll fit in a 1911 holster because the uh, the grip doesn't get in the way at all on holstering. It works really well. 
and it's a dandy pistol and we're going to shoot a little bit and demonstrate the low recoil it does have a bit of muzzle flash to it uh, but it's not bothersome at all but the recoil is light the accuracy is good and it's a fine pistol from Rock Island I'm going to talk to you a little bit about penetration on this thing. I've got some uh, uh, 3 16 thick mild steel here, this uh, uh, square pipe. And let me show you the penetration on this. This is a 9 millimeter plus P right there. And it just splattered on it, dented a little bit. The 22 TCM pokes holes right in it. And the hole is bigger than the 22 caliber bullet because it expands as it's going in. Makes a nice hole in here. So hard targets, you shooting through a car body or anything like that, windshield. Stuff like that if you've got to get to your target through any kind of a barrier that is behind. This 22 TCM does a lot better than 9mm does, as I can show you here. And 9mm does better than 45 does on penetrating. So, th uh, th of course, uh, a car door is a lot thinner than this. This is some nice uh, thick steel. It's heavy-duty stuff. But uh, these little bullets just zip right through it. 